Uh, it's been a dramatic week in Emmerdale. Last night in an emotional episode, a helicopter crash took the life of one villager. With lives hanging in the balance, it was one of the most explosive scenes and it could change the Dales forever. Betrayal, deceit, revenge and even a helicopter crash. It's been a busy week in the Dales. Oh God. The nation waited on the edge of their sofas to see if Debbie would make it down the aisle to marry Pete before her affair with his brother was revealed. As the wedding went ahead, there was a big explosion when Chrissy set her husband's <laughs> car on fire after finding out he was also having an affair. Nothing to do with me. And the helicopter set to whisk Debbie and Pete off on honeymoon was hit. Back in the wedding reception, just when Debbie thought she'd got away with it, came the big revelation. He's never going to do it for you like me. And if this wasn't enough for one episode... <laughs> the village is left devastated after Ruby becomes the first victim of the crash, and its impact is set to continue as more fatalities are expected. But who else will perish? Can Pete forgive? And will the Dales recover from the disaster? Oh my goodness. Well, the person who knows all the answers to all of those questions is Kate Oates, who's the series producer of Emmerdale. What an extraordinary time for you. Is this all because of you? Is this all your idea? Oh, well, it's me and my team. Uh, it's a massive, massive team up in Leeds. Uh, Storyliners, writers, script editors, production crew. So it's everybody's ideas and everybody's input. When do you start, Kate, with, with something a big week like this? How far in advance had you been planning or had you yeah. been talking about, you know, we need a massive week in the summer? Well, the storylines that sort of this is the climax of have been going since autumn, really. Mm. And that's what I think we do really well at Emmerdale, those long-term story arcs that then kind of explode on screen, literally, in this case. Uh, but we decided that we were going to have a big summer. Actually, quite recently, um, you know, sometimes these things are a very long time in the planning, and I guess we sort of decided uh, to buck the trend of, of big stories in summer. Often big stories are held off till autumn, sure. but we decided to bring them forward and then play big stories So in even though some of these storylines have been starting in the autumn, the mm. conclusion of them and how it was going to come to together was actually only decided more recently yeah yeah I mean it was uh, it was something that we decided obviously uh, ITV's uh, celebrating its anniversary soon and Coronation Street's got its big live episode so I think that along with Corrie like one big soap machine uh, we decided to basically bring all our stories forwards and, and just make sure that we had something really special for the viewers this summer lots of viewers asking questions so Daniel says is it hard coming up with the idea of the helicopter crash because presumably if you're going to have you know a massive storyline there's hundreds of things you could choose there are, there are no i mean it's nice to do something different uh it's nice to do something that uh, that we haven't tackled on emmerdale before um but yeah it, it was just a case of if we were moving all these stories together, so for example, we knew that we wanted a big thing for the wedding. Uh, we wanted to make it a bit different with the funfair elements. We've got Val and Diane trapped in their mirror maze, which has never been seen before on soap. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it was, it was just, it was, it was a new idea and, and just something that, you know, one of the writers pitched and we loved it. Yeah, Reg says, how did Val and Diane know that a helicopter had crashed when they were stuck in the horn of mirrors? That's a very good question. <laughs> uh, well, they will have known that Pete booked it for Debbie, and I imagine if you're stuck in a mirror maze and there's a loud noise like that, you know, it's a pretty Your first instinct, that helicopter's crashed, well, it that's what it is. Uh, Emma says, what was the hardest part of filming the helicopter disaster? Uh, I suppose that it was because we normally film uh, episodes in, in nine days, a block of four episodes in nine days. This was five episodes we did in sort of 23. So it was scheduling everything, really, uh, because we've got stuff at the scrapyard, we've got stuff in the mirror maze, we've got stuff in the village hall, we've got stuff with Ross yeah. uh, stuck on a cliff. So it was all those different precincts and bringing all that together. Yeah, I mean, the special effects... The special Presumably effects. Presumably pretty tricky to pull off. Absolutely, because there was an element of CGI, but all these helicopter shots, that's a real helicopter. Oh. So that was all real. Was that a real pint? Uh, that was a real pint, that's I know. No, no expense <laughs> spared at all. Um, so, yeah, there was a bit of CGI there, but the biggest thing actually was the mirror maze, because we're a multi-cam show, which means there's loads of cameramen with Val and Diane in that, in that mirror so maze. So hiding the reflections. Hiding the reflections, absolutely. So that was a challenge. So Lauren has the big question, which is, can you give us any clues on who is returning this autumn? And I suppose she means maybe characters coming back, but also, mm -hmm. you know, the implicit question in that is, who else are you going to lose this week? Well, I can't tell you who we're going to lose, but if you stay tuned tonight, then you will, you will see some, uh, some more drama of that ilk. Uh, but in terms of returnees, we do have a returnee coming in the autumn. So more drama of that, as in people are going to die tonight? They may well. More than one? They may well. 
I know. I know you've been quoted as saying, you know, when you're running a storyline like this, you have to be prepared to kill your darlings. You yes. can't just sort of lose maybe minor characters or, or new people who have just... You need There's got to, to be consequence. There's got to be consequence. There's got to be people that the viewers are invested in because you've got to care. And uh, last night when, uh, when Ruby died, I, I sob every time I see it. She gave such a brilliant performance. Mm. So, yeah, you really need to, to entrust it with people who can carry the story. Kate, we'll leave you with Michael who has tweeted in, like lots of people have tweeted in, thank you for all these tweets, uh, please tell Kate Oates uh, that this week's drama has been the best I've ever seen of a soap. Aww. Huge fan of the show, congratulations to thank everybody. Thank you, Michael. Let's go for a drink very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't, don't, drop there, don't, <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> Kate, lovely to meet you. Thank, thank you for coming thank in. Thank you for having me. So we've been asking whose time is up. We've learned last night, obviously, the first casualty was Ruby. Kate, she said there will be more news, more sad news in Dales. 30% of you were right with your prediction that Ruby would be the first to go. 23% think Val Pollard will be next to go. 15% think it could be the new bride. Debbie, not Debbie, Kate's surely. got her poker face on. Not Debbie, surely. <laughs> go to the website to take part in our poll. She sort of shivered when we said Debbie then. I'm sure she did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs>